Yes, okay, I'm recording. So, um, I've asked this great question, what happens when you're doing spiritual practice and you end up realizing one has been thinking all along? And I recognize the question. It's basically um, what's required. I mean, what's happening is that still there's dependency on thinking as the source. And when there's dependency on thinking, then even when you want to do spiritual practice, you may end up just wandering off or just thinking the whole period. You want to do 10 minutes of meditation and uh, you end up just thinking about, you know, buying a new cupboard for you know, whatever it is. So that, that, that preoccupation is just for me the addiction to thinking. Now, what can you do if you're getting frustrated? You want to be doing spiritual practice. You want to be getting still. Uh, you want to be getting present or in the field of presence or oneness, uh, you don't want to be like ending up being in your thinking all the time. So what do you do? Well, I would do, um, there's a few, a few things I would do. Um, uh, get, I'll try and get to the observer a bit later on, but one of the first things is the prayers for willingness uh, and, uh, and also prayers around prayers for giving up your unwillingness. So you can have, uh, you know, so, uh, so, uh, I surrender, dear God, uh, my willingness uh, to be uh, to be present. I surrender, dear God, my willingness to be still. Uh, I surrender, dear God, my willingness to surrender the payoff of thinking. I surrender, uh, I surrender, dear God, my willingness to let go of magical thinking. I, su I surrender, dear God, my unwillingness to let go of the payoff of thinking. Uh, I surrender, dear God, my unwillingness to let go of my ego being the center of my life. So these kinds of prayers, I mean, if you, I, I, you, know, you may end up thinking, but if you're doing prayers or canceling your beliefs, I cancel my unwillingness uh, to surrender the payoff of my thinking. Uh, I surrender, dear God. I cancel my belief. I cancel my identification with thoughts as my as my source. So you can do canceling the beliefs. You can pray for a miracle to see your addiction to thinking differently. So all of those will be helpful. If you're going to do a meditation or a prayer phase, you might start with those prayers around willingness or praying, praying for a miracle and a shift in in perception or to see the addiction to thoughts in truth before you start your practice period, or pray for willingness for, for focused uh, silence or focused prayer period, so that you don't get entangled in uh, distracted thinking, or not focused praying, or focused uh, not focused stillness, but beingness, without the addiction to the thinkingness. Another thing is just to have us, you know, is just to, um, I've got lots of videos on the observer. There are other spiritual teachers that talk about the observer. Recognize that you want to have a deep intention. You can pray for willingness around this, that, um, that um, it's the stillness or the, or the observing before your thoughts, which is your truth. So knowing that, and then you know, building up your intention that you're willing to give the payoff of constantly being in the field of thinking. For the greater presence uh, of God, you see. So you do that. So those prayers will secretly, because what's happening is that the ego is still in control because you're doing prayers which don't attack the ego being the center of, of the universe. So you've got to leverage those high, lever high leverage prayers, cancelling your beliefs, and intentions to God, prayers to God, to just surrender the payoff of your thoughts being the center. So that starts to weaken the, uh, you know, the actual core foundations of the ego, which is just a, an addiction to being in thinkingness, you know, and an unwillingness to surrender the payoff of thinkingness and, uh, and, and, uh, and insufficient divine willingness to, to abandon thinkingness as the center and to be in stillness. You can also start a prayer or meditation practice uh, with the observer. Uh, and this will just give a reminder that th thoughts are not your friends. Uh, so you want to have just focused prayer to surrender whatever you're surrendering or the observer 
and just daily prayers that really hammer away at thinkingness being who you are. Uh, this would be very easy if you've had spiritual experience and know that you don't want thinkingness to be your center any longer. You're fed up with it. Okay, 